Once you enter the coastal plain of Georgia, you start to see fields. And in those fields are numerous crops, everything from vegetables to citrus to traditional row crops. They're all grown there. For a farmer here in the coastal plains of Georgia, water and the availability of water is one of the most important factors of production agriculture. It's not an accident at all that our farm is located next to the Flint River. My grandparents and father, when they began farming, sought out a place on a stream that would have water to irrigate with. The Flint River begins at the Atlanta airport. And so everything that goes into that river can conceivably come right by our place and right into the irrigation systems that we operate. I'm happy to tell you that the river is one of the cleaner streams in the state of Georgia. I'm proud of the fact that people north of us are doing a really good job with their cleaning and everything. We have two sources here. Our first source is the Flint River, which is on the eastern side of our farm. And we also have a pond that's been there for over 100 years that we pump out of, and then we use uh, almost exclusively center pivot irrigation that covers large acreages in a circular irrigation system. So historically, we were using things like guns which had a higher trajectory, which were less efficient in how they got water out to the soil. All of our center pivot irrigation systems have drops which not only gets it lower to the crop, that means less evaporation, but it also means that it's done with less pressure requiring less energy. But these are the kind of things that we think about when we're trying to be efficient in how we use that water because we all value it so highly. Agriculture is the basis for the economy there. And so water then plays a pivotal role in the success of agriculture in the coastal plain of Georgia. And that's why I think it's such an important resource and, and we, we should be focusing our attention on it. The role of the Flint River in agriculture is central in this state. The lower Flint, particularly the Darty Plain, is considered to be the breadbasket of Georgia in terms of, of agricultural production. And that's traditional cotton, corn, and peanuts, but it's also blueberry groves, pecan groves, vegetables. It's a lot of different things. And when you start looking at agricultural value in Georgia, it's really kind of centered up in the Lower Flint watershed. And it's because of the abundance of water combined with the soil type, combined with available land. It's just a sweet spot for Georgia ag. Water conservation is so important. Drought is a really important thing to think about, uh, no matter where you are on the planet, because it's the time when efficient, conservative use of water is at its most important. It doesn't mean that at other times it's not, but it is at its most important during a drought. What you need to do is move toward using less and less and less, just like electricity. And it's because that water either goes back into the river or into a septic tank and it eventually finds its way downstream. And people need that water, not just you and your family. You need to be cognizant. You need to be thinking about the fact that other people are going to use that exact same water. I'm talking about the same molecules. They're going to be using it over and over and over again. Protecting water is critical, um, both how clean it is and how much of it there is. We always use the phrase, enough clean water. It's got to be enough to do the things that we want to do with it, from making money to having fun to just staying alive. And it's got to be clean. So there's a lot of things you can do. You can join groups like a Riverkeeper and help focus your voice on the issues. What's cool about the Riverkeeper model is that it's not about the river per se, it's about people's connections to the river. So much of our waterways are public in this country, and so the issues are not 
private, but they're shared by everyone. And there's such a large group of people behind each river here in Georgia that have these special connections to the river. Advocacy groups primarily serve as a focus of citizen voices so that they can become blended into one and bring attention to water policy issues. It's really important to understand where your water's coming from, whether you're on a house with a well or you're on a city system. You need to understand where it's coming from, be reasonable in that use, and then understand where it's going. There's all kinds of responsibility that goes with that water use. It's just like the responsibility of cleaning up your room or driving a car safely so that the people around you are not negatively affected.